Banana growing is a significant economic engine. It provides a weekly income year-round. In Uganda, banana is a staple food in southwestern districts of Bushenyi, Mbarara, Rukunjiri, Kanungu, Ntungamu, Shema, Masaka, and Rakai. Life of a banana plantation is 25 years and beyond. That means that once you plant a banana, you keep harvesting for 25 years. In Uganda, Burundi and Rwanda, per capita consumption of bananas is estimated at 45 kilograms per year. Cooking bananas represents a major food source and income source for smallholder farmers. Scientists continue to make bananas more beneficial to Ugandan citizens. At Kawanda Agriculture Research Institute, scientists have added vitamin A content into banana. This aims at addressing the problem of vitamin A deficiencies that is common to pregnant women and children. We talked to the director of the institution, Dr. Tushemiriri Wilberforce. These bananas we are standing in have been specifically improved to have more provitamin A. Provitamin A is the, the, the precursor, the, uh, the starting point in plants for what becomes vitamin A once consumed. It is provitamin A in, in plants, but our body turns it into vitamin A that we need. And uh, what we are aiming at, we are trying to address the problem of poor nutrition uh, arising out of uh, deficiencies of vitamin A in uh, most of our crops. Specifically, the bananas are mostly rich in carbohydrates and uh, water, but they are, uh, they are deficient in most of the key vitamins and the mineral elements. Uh, the banana will, will give you a lot of potassium, but you'll get potassium in many, from many other sources. But a key element, three key elements that we need most in the, our bodies to grow healthy, uh, uh, we need iron, we need zinc, and we need vitamin A. Dr. Tushemirire believes the move will help reduce vitamin A deficiencies in women and children, for they eat bananas regularly. These bananas with vitamin A will look more yellow than the normal bananas. Dr. Stephen Bua from Kawanda gives more light. Uh, this trial uh, is about identifying the banana line which contains the highest level of pro vitamin A carotenoids. We are targeting to have 800 plants tested here. These 800 plants consist of 400 from M9 variety and the second variety is called Nachitembe. These two target varieties were selected because of the comparative advantage they have uh, compared to the other Matoke varieties in the country. When you introduce a gene into uh, bananas or any other cell, the process is random. And we have uh, set up a threshold for getting the best possible um, line using these numbers. And when all these lines have been analyzed, we are likely to get, to get the, the best possible um, the best possible line that can be promoted for release to farmers. No taste change will be experienced. Bananas with higher levels of provitamin A carotenoids or higher levels of vitamin A will have a yellowish color. The color ranges from yellow to red depending on the concentration of vitamin A in the fruit. 
we do not expect these bananas to look any different from the non-transgenic bananas except that the transgenic ones will have higher levels of vitamin A and therefore a yellowish to red color to show the levels of vitamin A in them but we do not intend to change and as you can see there is no difference between the transformed bananas and the non-transformed ones. Very precise technology. You basically get what you put in there. We have put on these bananas, the genes, for higher levels of provitamin A. And that is what we expect. We have chosen M9 variety of Matoke because it has resistance to several biotic constraints. Dr. Tushemeri Ray believes the benefits are many. Not lacking only on vitamin A, uh, these bananas uh, are going to be made resistant to bacterial wilt as well. And you know very well bact bacterial wilt is uh, one of the problems this country is facing. Uh, we are getting a gene from sweet pepper. Sweet pepper is another uh, food all you gardens eat. And uh, the disease that is causing wilt to bananas also causes uh, wilt in uh, different types of pepper. But there is a certain variety of pepper which is not affected. And uh, what is uh, making those uh, peppers resistant is what we are picking and putting into bananas to make them also resistant. You've heard uh, about concerns that, uh, yeah, that when that GMOs will not be good. Those are, uh, uh, the, those are unfounded uh, lies being peddled by people who don't understand the technology.